G'day everyone and welcome. I'm RRB Ninjago and today I will be showing my secret. If you enjoy LEGO content and want to see more videos just like this one, please consider subscribing to the channel, it would be much appreciated. Have you ever wanted to buy custom LEGO minifigures but the price was just too damn high? Have you ever wanted to build custom minifigures but it was just too damn hard? Well look no further because I have the solution for you. Continue watching to see how I made custom minifigures such as this and this. This video was suggested by a subscriber whose channel name is Dog. Their link will be down in the description below. To start off, you will need some or all of the following. Sharpies, paint or paint pens, glue, scissors, a computer with Microsoft Word, that one might be a bit difficult, a printer, and parts. Lots and lots of minifigure parts. Especially those of you who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good. Damn, that list was longer than I thought. Anyway, to start off, you must establish what character it is you'd like to make. It can be from any theme. Ninjago, Star Wars, Spongebob, it doesn't matter. It can all be done. Once you know the character you'd like to build or make, my first recommendation would be go to the Eurobricks forum. There is a minifigure templates guide gallery, which gives you links to all the available templates that are exact sizes for minifigs to custom make them. All relevant links will be down below in the description, so if you want to look for them, they're, they're going to be down there. Now all you need to do, once you're there, is click on the template you'd like to make, there'll be a link, just save the image, and then you need to copy and paste that image into Microsoft Word. My go-to template is the torso and legs one, which is made by Luxor V, and it's just because it has both available at the perfect size I need. For example, I'm going to show you an example today. The character I'm going to make, custom make, is Clone Commander Fox. I'm on a bit of a Star Wars high at the moment. You'll see more about that next week. A huge, huge haul we're going to put out next week, me and my partner, and that's going to be part of it. But Commander Fox is just a minifigure I'm not willing to spend $100 for, but I love the character, so I want to make the figure and get it as close as possible to go with my Captain Rex and, and Commander Cody. So all I do, I have a screenshot of his Lego torso. I will then copy and paste his torso into this Microsoft Word document and then minimize it so it fits perfectly over the blank template you have for the minifig torso section. Obviously, you can do this as many times as you want on the page, if you're making, especially if you're making multiple characters. I did that when I made my Ninjago Customs. I just filled the page with minifig templates and that's how I made those figures. And once you've done this to perfection, obviously for the legs, the same process, just copy and paste snippets of the leg. Now we print. Once printed, we cut out the torso, obviously, and then we choose the parts to use. So for Commander Fox, I have chosen, I've chosen a prisoner torso and we'll use these dark red arms from a near legacy torso, which I have plenty of, so I can just take that off her and swap them into the prisoner torso, which I also have plenty of. And then we're ready to glue the torso cut out onto the front of the torso. I know it's blasphemy. I know it's terrible, but it is what it is. It's, it's cheap. It's cheaper than spending $100, and it looks good. I'm not going to sell these anytime, so I just want to see them in my collection. And there we go. It looks pretty decent, hey? The same exact process goes for the legs. I probably should have chosen a character with printed legs, but it is what it is. You get the picture seeing what I've done here with the torso. Now onto the helmet. So for the helmet, I'll be doing the classic Sharpie technique and hope for the best. Remember those classic custom Clone Trooper days on YouTube like 10 years ago? Solid bricks. He was the leader of that. Anyway, let's try it out. There we go. Looks okay. Let's try it on the figure. So that is my simple to make custom Commander Fox minifigure. Saved you probably $99 Australian. Now I hope that explained the general gist of how I actually made those Ninjago custom minifigs. I've just let the secret out. It's pretty obvious, but I want to share with you how I've actually made those. And I hope it gave you a slight idea of how that was done. I know these aren't the best thing in the world, but it's just for my personal collection. It's something I want to have in the collection so that I don't have to spend the money on a, on a real figure that costs a fortune because me, I will spend that money and you'll see next week, this haul is humongous. But I'm not going to spend $100, $200 on a freaking spider droid just to get a Commander Fox minifigure and three battle droids. Like, it's not worth it. I would definitely spend that money on a set that's worth that value, but it's not. Commander Fox is not worth that. Even if you want to make custom figures from a show you love, Ninjago, Chima, Nexo Knights, whatever it is, if there's a character that wasn't made, which there's plenty of in Ninjago, I've done that. And I'm going to continue to do that, and you're going to see that in the future. I hope you all enjoyed this video, tried something new out. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!
subscribe and we'll see. Lifetime supply of Master Chen noodles.